And welcome back to The Breakfast uh, this morning. We're going straight into the major news stories, making headlines. I'm starting with the Punch newspapers. And uh, we would first of all say good morning to our guest, Mr. Chris Wandu, the publisher, CKN News. Good morning. Thanks for joining us, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, colleagues. Great to have you here. Let's start with the Punch newspapers this morning. The big one there says, Arrest hit squad now. Uh, can ACF tell police... Uh, security agencies uh, silent, and that's with regards to the anti-open grazing killer gang, uh, very likely uh, in relation to the attack on Governor uh, Samuel Otom. It's disappointing. Funam members have not been arrested, says uh, Khan. Also arrest those claiming responsibility for assassination attempt on Otom. ACF says, we don't know militant group, and that's from Makban. Uh, governors are worried, says uh, Ganduje. Uh, the Kano State Governor. Also this morning on the Pond, federal government and international partners plan $1 billion loan support for MSMEs. Uh, we also can find here Nigerian sci scientist, uh, two COVID-19 vaccines undergoing trial, says the PTF. INEC plans online voter registration, targets 16 million Nigerians. And uh, also on the punch, uh, 132 paraded for impersonating PTF officials, murder and courtism in Lagos. Federal government orders immediate resumption of domestic flights, catering services. I actually missed that. Uh, <laughs> these days, they don't give anything on the plane. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Amoteko may prosecute headsmen for destroying 50 hectares farm and causing uh, a, a crash. And uh, 21 killed as speeding vehicles crash on Kaduna Oshun roads. These are some of the big ones that we can find on the punch newspapers this morning. On the nation, Akira Dolutu Iboho, other separatists, stay clear of Ondo State. Governor warns trespassers and forests, and northern elders caution secession promoters. Northwest governors issue vacate forest order to bandits. It's time for action, says Masari, defense headquarters to launch full assault. Wakili, all your youths demand release of three OPC members, 19 die in accident. Churches, schools raised in Kwara hijab violence. Why Autumn ran after attack by aid? Can others seek action? APC names Daniel Bankole Omishori Dogara Ambode in contact strategy panel. And uh, Forex transactions move to INE window. An update on COVID-19 here with the government clinical trial of local, locally produced vaccines soon. And the virus declining steadily since January. That's according to the NCDC. MTN's 3,000 doses arrive and 122,410 vaccinated, while Oyo and Kogi State are yet to begin vaccination. And uh, one more before we, uh, of course, go to our guests. The Daily Independent uh, is next. It says, how important, uh, importers, I beg your pardon, and forwarders, government agencies, fleece the federal government. Over time, we've spoken about leakages in government. And this is um, a good one uh, that, uh, of course, is speaking about the same thing. How importers and forwarders, uh, government agencies, fleece federal government. Nigeria loses 800 billion naira monthly to lack of 24-hour port operation. We're doing rehabilitation, not turnaround maintenance, says the NNPC. And also, made in Nigeria vaccines are waiting clinical trials, says the federal government. Gunmen kill three policemen at Abia checkpoint. APC constitutes 61 member contact strategy committee. And also, army vows to deal with those declaring ethnic sovereignty. Oduduwa, count Ondo out of secession plan, and that's from Makere Dulu. It says the state will participate in national livestock program. And also, uh, lastly, a $1 billion arms uh, purchase. CBN constitutes problem to transparency, accountability, uh, reps allege. And also, quick notice to Yoruba Bay's the North, a reaction to Sunday Boho's actions. Chris Wandu, welcome once again. There's so much uh, for us to speak much. about this morning, but go ahead. Let's hear you. Um... There are uh, so many stories to, uh, to tackle there. Um, but, uh, let's go with the, the story in the attack on the auto and uh, the reaction of various groups, including the his fellow governors. Um, we've said this time and again that except we bring to who 
most of these people that uh, um, continue to uh, make utterances, threaten the life people, corporate conferences, um, and, um, and <laughs> alluding to the fact that behind the uh, they are the various acts. This is not the first time uh, we are getting that. And um, till now, nobody has been arrested uh, or prosecuted. So you tend to see this uh, block. So I always believe that um, there are some people in high places who are protecting the, uh, not the, 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 the people that are coming at all, are just messengers. The making thing are behind, and they are the ones spoiling all this. So it's rather unfortunate that the security agencies, ODSS, police, the military, and the rest of them, I have not gone, uh, gone after the, the, um, these people. They are not, <laughs> not hitting the identity. They mentioned their name. They came out in public to say, yes, we are the one attacking. I went as far as people say that they are going to capture them not alive. If they could make such statement um, concerning a city of no, then you can imagine what happened to less mother like us. Um, so I would call to blame the security agency at, at the federal level. Um, and the box of the the doorstep of the uh, of president. Recently, he issued a statement that uh, anybody found with AK-7 should be shot. These people were not, shooting, they were not attacking the, the governor of Kabula or game gun. These people were suspected with weapons and they must have gotten the help from some sources. So, the first thing we to do for, for God to show the level of seriousness is to make sure that, first of all, all those that have been trances and looking to the fact they were behind the act and they are attacked, you know, should be arrested immediately. If they don't do that, then we are just paying lip services to issues of security. And it's autumn today, which other, it could be any other governor to move, be a credit to lose any other, uh, other governor. And that to me is, is not good enough because what they're trying, is try, they are trying to tell us that some people are untouchable. And when you come to that such, such a situation, then it comes a problem for everybody including the leaders as well. Hmm. Let's uh, look at this story. We saw it on several papers this morning. It's about INEC. You know, they had earlier said that uh, registration will kick off in the first quarter of 2021. This was a statement that uh, the INEC chairman said last year. And, uh, but now it's been moved to the second quarter and they're saying they're targeting 16 million Nigerians. If they didn't do it, you know, if they didn't start when they said they would, why should we trust that they're going to start now? Probably they must have been to some logistic reasons or logistic problems that's at the stage. Um, the updating of the voters register is a continuous thing. It's not supposed to be period for a certain period. It's supposed to be on a basis. By the time you turn 18 and you're eligible to vote, you're supposed to go to the first INEC to inform INEC and you'll be registered. If you are moving from Lagos and moving to Kaduna or Imo or any, any where you've moved um, your place of residence, you are supposed to go back to INEX to change your status to reflect where you are because that is where you have to put. So if for whatever reason you just came into the country and you want to stay within Nigeria and you're no longer living at God, and you are in Nigeria and you're able to vote, you're supposed to go to the INEC office to get uh, to get registered. So it's a periodic thing, it's a, a, a continuous thing. And uh, not just waiting for a particular period. And don't forget that uh, INEC is also having issues now. Um, so, um, um, a, 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 an election is going to be um, soon in some states. And INEC, um, parties are giving INEC to court, um, saying they are registered. INEC is not on the ballot. And let's wait until we get to the district court and let it speak up, make a final pronouncement on this. Until, uh, uh, um, we make a final pronouncement on we cannot do anything. So I think uh, it's both for logic reasons and um, I then probably will make sure that I get it right this time around. Okay. So but, into that and uh, I totally support them and let's give them the benefit of the doubt. But for how long would we continue to take the excuse of logistics issue? Remember when the election was postponed, we heard this. We, it, I don't know, it seems like we're not over this excuse of logistics issue. When would INEC get it right regarding conducting elections, you know, voter registration, security for the elections, and everything regarding the conduct of elections in the country? 
That question should not is not for me sent to you. It should be you should call first also who is the spokesman of <laughs> INEC to talk about. Um, I cannot speak for INEC. <laughs> I can't speak as a like I can only guess my sister, just like, as a journalist like you, I, like you. I can only take a guess. But um it is rather unfortunate that since nineteen ninety nine date, this 20, uh, 2011, right? Uh, where are we? And then we still haven't gotten a art right when it comes to election. Um, which is why some of us believe that um, the amended trial law should be signed by president. You know, you know there was an amendment that was supposed to be signed by president sometime. Yes. Which be, I think some of these issues will, will be addressed with those extra, with that electoral bill. If the president will be able to sign it, because but we are tired of this, all these excuses coming from mine. Is right. it due to incompetence or is it due to people are just like? Um, 2023 is just about two years away from now, mm -hmm. and we are ready for another generation. So, if they can't get that now, I don't know when they will. But you know, our system is a fire brigade approach. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope they don't end up with fire brigade approach again. All right, Chris Wonder, let's also then move to uh, talking COVID 19 now. There is uh, conversations about a made in Nigeria vaccine. It's uh, on the Daily Independent saying uh, made in Nigeria vaccines are waiting clinical trials. And that's from the federal government. Uh, earlier, a couple of weeks ago, we spoke about uh, the government uh, voting 10 billion naira into vaccine creation um, here in Nigeria. So, you know, do, do you trust that we would you'll be able to pull through with this? And what's the level of trust that Nigerians will have with the Nigerian-made COVID-19 vaccine? Uh, we, I don't see why we cannot get it right. We have the, the, the people to do. We have the competence. Don't forget, um, it is a Nigerian who is behind the uh, one of the clinical trial, clinical trials of the vaccine. I think in the United States, of America, I know that this Nigerian is US. Uh, there was a child. Um, I believe that I can get it done. Um, it, what we need is the political will and the sincerity of those people. To get, because for how can we continue to depend on international communities? We've just gotten about just about 3.9 um, uh, doses of uh, vaccine for a population of over 3 million. That wouldn't take us any so any opportunity for us to go to harness and get our own indigenous uh, vaccine. Good. So run the clinical trial, make sure that it's okay and uh, it's good for people's health. And um, my own problem that is skepticism going around. Most people that are not even taking this, they want to have got it. Uh, yeah, most people are still scared they don't believe that it's good to and rest of them. That is also, it's also dead in controversy. So we must have some social media videos moving around the rest of them where there's some kind of uh, uh, people go to the places, some follow them all to be safe. And the Nigerians are not attended. That you see Indians, other people who pay that they get themselves vaccinated. So, but personally, I think that's way to go. Uh, I think I hope we'll get that. Done as as possible, so that can, uh, we can get as many as uh, vaccinated as possible. Hmm. Moving away from the COVID nineteen vaccination now, uh, Osawage, we spoke about this I think yesterday about uh, Sunday Muho and others. They have, you know starting cessationist claims they're saying they want to create their own yoruba uh, nation we even saw pictures circulating on social media we don't know how true that is we can't verify if that's fact or you know just fake news but we saw currencies you know that they say this is the new currency of the new yoruba nation we're creating and uh, on the daily independent here the army is vowing to deal with those declaring ethnic sovereignty and uh ondo ondo state uh, governor akira dolu uh, he is saying that uh, they're, they're not part of this cessation plan. How bad has it gone, really? I remember when we spoke about Sunday Goho, lots of people were in support of him. They said, you know, handle him with care. You know, let's make sure these things don't get out of hand. But hasn't it gotten, gotten out of hand at the moment with him declaring, you know, a, a sovereign Yoruba state? Um... Uh... Secession will always be with us. People will always agitate for uh, to be. Uh, this started even right from the, our independence in 1960, and um, after the, the coup of 66, uh, which led to break away of the And since then, most Nigerians and uh, most uh, part of the country have always talked about the issue of all we want to. Become. And um, personally, everybody has a freedom of speech, um, and it's enshrined in the constitution. 
to say what I like. I don't forget to hear your freedom of speech. Stop, we are my start. So, uh, which will also be very, very careful the kind of utterances they make, uh, not just playing to the guy. Uh, we have a system work. It might not be perfect, working perfectly. We have said that there's a need for us to G uh, and restructure the country as it were presently, and the list will be listed. So, uh, this is high time for us to look at the Federation Nigeria as a whole once again and see what's not working for us and how to we to play with it. And making sure that everybody has a sense of belonging. The way it is now is that certain parts of the country now seem such a good and feel that they have been lost to other parts of the country. And that is the agitation is coming. If you are in a place and you don't feel that you are, you are still and you see that you are not having the, the, the kind of uh, uh, the kind of accommodation you, you need, uh, then there's need for uh, there will be agitation. But the governor of Honduras has said it, and some other leaders have also said I think uh, Mr. Lugo, yes, he has done some good job here and there, but he shouldn't uh, stretch his luck so, too far um, uh, because there's a loss. By the time you start doing that, then you are going to aggravate the situation on ground, and there, are, there will be retaliation and reaction from other parts of the country. Before you know it, countries can look in serious cases. Um, if you watch it, so I personally have been thinking that I'm talking too much. There's already just uh, watch it. That's my personal thing. talking too much. And I just watch it on. There's already uh, reactions. It's one of the things on the Daily Independent also uh, calls for Eurobas to leave the north. You know, but um, that's that's a whole new conversation. Chris Wanda, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thanks for speaking with us. Yes, thanks for being here. Thank you, Roger, and do have a nice day. You too. All right, stay with us. Uh, of course, we always love to share with you things that happened today in history many, many years ago. I'm going back to the year. Uh, not far, too far away, actually 2020, just last year um, on this day. And that comes up right after this short break. Yes, do stay with breakfast. us.